this is the uh, very beautiful town of Huntsville. The last time we were here, the whole center of the street was all upheaved and uh, they're putting in new water mains or whatever. And uh, But now it's all put back together, it looks great. Good job, Huntsville. It's Monday the 26th of September. Uh, the leaves are starting to change and it's starting to look like fall more and more up here in Muskoka. So Carol, uh, my mom, my sister and I went up to the cottage all weekend and Carol and I like to say sometimes till Monday and uh, so she took the other car home and I've got rusty because I wanted to do like a regular camping video with you guys and uh, cook a steak. I have a rib steak so I hope you guys enjoy me cooking that up. We're just in, missing one ingredient and uh, because we'll be at a campsite I think we'd grab a couple beers and uh, that way we can relax tonight. You can't do that obviously on the regular stealth camps sitting in a parking lot drinking beers in the back of a van. Not a good idea but when we do camping and we're in a campsite you're allowed to drink on your campsite. So let's go. Uh, I'm not sure what's gonna we're gonna hit first, the grocery store or the beer store. Looks like the liquor store is open, so uh, let's do that. Uh, while we're in town, we're gonna try and un upload our uh, Dairy Queen video uh, because I'll get a better signal here than at the campsite. They got everything here. Wine, liquor, beer, anything and everything you want. Let's do some Moosehead beer. Cool. Hello. Hello. How are you? Good. The big moose. The big moose. Thanks, Al. Have a good day. You too. Got to check the uh, upload speed. Speed test. Hit the big go. So my upload speed is 33.7 megabits per second, which is way better than my cottage, which is 0 0.1. <laughs> There's a big hill right behind our cottage, all rock, and uh, no signal gets, well, a little tiny bit of a signal gets through. So this is almost finished exporting the final 4K project, uh, and then we'll upload it from here. Maybe we'll grab a coffee. Um, I definitely have to get to the grocery store first, and then we'll get a coffee. Grab some cremini. It's fresh thyme. Got the two things we need. I got a cooler bag. We had to put, uh, take Rusty in to get an oil change. And so I took my bike out, I took the cooler out. And then we decided the last second to bring Rusty up to the cottage. And uh, didn't bring my bike, didn't bring my cooler. So I'm using a cooler bag. I carry out an extra one in the car, which is good. All right, let's go over to Tim Hortons, grab a coffee and then we'll be on our way. Could I get a large black coffee, please? Sure, anything else? That's it, thanks. Two or five minutes, please, please. Hello. Oh, you know what? I've got that good thing. There we go. All right, free coffee, love it. Thank you. Have that Tim Hortons app, and uh, every time you buy, a coffee, scan it, and basically every seven coffees you get a free coffee. And today was the day that we got our free coffee. Just gonna park at the top of this hill, get the best reception possible, and then we'll hit the uh, campground. It's called Arrowhead. The last time I was there, probably was 12, 15 years ago, with Carol and the kids. They got some pretty good hikes there. Let's move this over, get this ready to go. All hooked up to my phone, open up the internet, 
go to KBD Productions TV, start uploading. Hopefully it takes less than a half an hour. I want to get to the campground, do a bit of a hike, and then cook up a nice steak. And get our coffee. Cheers. <laughs> That's not good. I was kind of hoping it would wait till later. Hmm. Almost done the upload. 14 minutes left. Well, the sun's come out. Look at those clear skies all of a sudden. Isn't that crazy? All right, let's go to the uh, the campground. Made it. Nice. Welcome to Arrowhead. Hello, just uh, tonight. And, uh, oh, you have a reservation? I do not. Oh, okay, that's fine. And do you need electrical or non? I don't need electrical. Preference for Roe or East River? Uh, Roe, and I, I think 500 was available last night. Uh, when yeah, I'm 500 is still available. And that's good for a vehicle, single car? Oh, yeah. Okay. Down that's, by the beach here. Yeah, I think that'll be great. I wonder if the rain's finished for the day. I hope so. Yeah. And I'll take a bag of wood and kindling, please. It's 6445. That's the wood. Thank you very much, sir. make our way over to our campsite. Maybe we can get a hike in before dinner. We're going to row, and that's just an area, a campsite area. I believe this place is open all year round, so maybe we can do some winter stuff here. Here is Camp 500. Perfect spot. Nobody camping there. Definitely nobody camping there. Got our fire pit, two tables, and a cliff. Look at the steam coming off. There's a little bit of a valley there, gully. Just gotta watch out for bears. On a great spot. This is the Arrowhead newsletter, newspaper, very big camp area. And we are at 500, which is right by the lake. So let's, let's go take a quick little walk there. And then we'll uh, maybe do this trail, which is around the lake. And we'll come back to 500. Let's go for our walk. Ooh, nice calm lake. This is definitely one of the main reasons you wanna do your camping in the spring or the fall, midweek. You'll always get a campsite and they'll always be as quiet as this. Gonna be using all trails. And that's the Stubbs Falls Loop. And this is Arrowhead Lake. It's uh, 6.7 kilometers. That's a long one. Maybe we should do that one tomorrow. Stubbs Falls. I have to drive to this trail because it's just too far away to walk. And uh, I just wanna to get to these falls, show you guys. Haven't been there in a very long time, so I'm guessing that's the trailhead straight across. And start. Sweet.
back to the main road. Parking lot's over there. Now that is a pretty picture. And that trail is done. So when you're finished, I believe you hit pause. <laughs> oh, it's been a while since I used this. You had to press and hold it the whole time. And then you can just say finish. And uh, how was it? I'm going to say it's a uh, five star continue. Let's add some photos. Select photos. I'm going to do the one of the falls and the sun. That one look good. Done. So the length was uh, 2.7 kilometers. Elevation was only 32 meters. Very easy trail. Move time is 36. Again, stopping for photos and all that stuff. Calories is 440. All right, let's get back to our site and cook our steak. Beer aside for a minute. I'm gonna get out some of our cooking stuff. I've been wanting to cook this steak for you guys for a while. Got the cremini, got my thyme. A lot of people use rosemary too. Room temperature steak. More permini, oil, garlic, butter, and after dinner, chocolate. I'm gonna cut up my mushrooms first and have that all ready to go just to throw in the pan after my steak's cooked. While my steak is resting, then I'll throw them back in and we'll cook them up. Wash our mushrooms. Unfortunately, I didn't bring a steak knife. Silly. Just remember to have my Leatherman. Saves the day. Right there. Always bust off the stems. Makes it easier for cutting. Mushrooms all cut up, ready to go. All right, one of the things I learned is to uh, season the board. Lots of pepper, lots of salt. Turn that on. Start to get that nice and hot. We're gonna use olive oil. And then we'll put the butter in later so that it doesn't burn. We've got some garlic. I'm gonna cut a little bit of the garlic up into pieces. And then I'm gonna leave a couple pieces nice and big. Rib steak. We're gonna lay that on our board. Now the steak is on top of the salt and pepper. Now we're gonna salt up this side. Seasoning the beef pepper. Lots of pepper. And then we're just gonna make sure we get both sides. Try not to waste any of that salt and pepper. Do the sides of your beef with your steak. Okay, turn this back up and we're gonna go for it now. Here we go. Always lay it away from you. Gonna throw in our thyme. And our 
We'll wait a little bit with our garlic. Try to move it around, make sure it doesn't stick. Garlic. Oh, it smells good already. Woo! We have to be careful not to burn the garlic. It'll make it taste bitter. Oh yeah. Big chunk of butter. Look at that butter melt. Oh yeah. I'm going to take out some of my garlic here because I do not want it to get burnt. We are going to baste it. More butter. More basting. Oh, look at that. Woo! Still pretty raw in there. Bring it out here, though. I think we're almost done. Do a little check. Just a little bit more. Okay, I'm going to take this off and let it rest. Pull our garlic back on there. Throw our mushrooms in. Take over just a little bit like that. I need a bigger plate. Look at all those beautiful mushrooms on the side. I know a lot of you guys would prefer potato. Oh my goodness, Ken. Yep, that looks beautiful. What do you guys think? Fit for a king? I think so. There's so much juices on there, and this table isn't on a level level spot. So I'm gonna have to put this board maybe onto this side so it doesn't spill on my lap. I'm just gonna do a couple of these mushrooms first because I've been dying to try these mushrooms. Mmm. Open up a moose head lager. Check that out. Cheers guys, thanks for hanging out with me on this uh, cooking camp, camp out. Unfortunately there was a bunch of things I forgot. I forgot to bring a steak knife, I forgot to bring a tablecloth, but we'll, we have to make the best of what we're gonna do. So I'm just gonna use my Leatherman, because that'll probably be a little bit better. You guys can be the my, my judges, judge, jury. 
I'm gonna cut a piece off. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I did it right. Oh, and my um, meat thermometer. I really like my meat thermometer. It really helps me decide whether or not it's done the way I really want it. Ever since I started using a meat thermometer, I haven't overcooked chicken. I always tend to over -chick overcook chicken. What do you think? It's a little bit more well than rare, but let's go in for the taste test. Tastes amazing. I'm pretty sure if I over here, it will be definitely more rare. Look at that big chunk. So I think that's, that's pretty good. That's like right up my alley. Maybe a little bit more rare next time. Again, I'll make sure I come back, <laughs> do this again. I'll make sure I have my uh, th meat thermometer. Yeah, I think that's, I think that's pretty good actually. Mmm, got a piece of garlic with that. So thanks to everybody who participated in that poll I did about which steak you like. This is a rib steak, which is pretty much the exact same as a ribeye without the bone. So a ribeye doesn't have the bone. Rib steak still has a rib off to the side there. And a lot of people do like the bone in. A little bit of steak, a little bit of fat, and some mushrooms. Mmm. I'm going to take my time off. Tender and juicy. Mm-hmm. Let people know in the comments below what's your favorite campground, whether it's in Ontario, somewhere else in Canada, the United States, anywhere else in the world. Let us know your favorite campsites. What a fantastic meal. Carol made these uh, fire starters for me. They're egg cartons with uh, dryer lint and wax. And you light them on fire under your, under your wood and stuff, and it gets it going.
Good morning. Tuesday, I haven't worn my watch in about five, six days because my wrist still hurts from when I injured it. Uh, we did an x-ray um, last Friday or Thursday and uh, still waiting. I guess sometime today because it's Monday. Is it Monday today? No, it's Tuesday. Still waiting for my uh, phone call. Let me know if it actually is fractured or something because it is I can't wear my watch on this wrist oh well hopefully we find out today sleeping last night awesome it's always nice to be in a in a park in a campground and uh, I'm pretty isolated here um, woke up when the sun was just coming out well not I guess the light in the sky started coming out and then uh, I'm like I'm not getting up yet so now it's 8 30 so I fell back to sleep for at least an hour maybe more I don't know what time I woke up but it's definitely still kind of dark so I want to do that seven kilometer hike today go around the lake if you guys want to come with me we can do it and then we'll come back make another coffee drive home we are here that trail just comes in behind us go all the way around this lake all the way back and that trail trailhead is right here right behind the car people are walking by every once in a while we'll hit the store too on the way by it actually says it's only uh, 5.1 kilometers total <laughs> busy no bodies that's good have a pretty big party there here is the store and they probably have like exhibits and stuff in there I doubt it's open but it might be yeah, it's not open yet, but uh, I guess you'd come here to rent canoes and kayaks and stuff. Yeah, so Monday to Friday, 10 a.m. So, no gift store for Ken. Bikes, kayaks, and canoes. Made it back to the parking lot. It's close to where my campsite is. Look at the color of that tree. That is just gorgeous. The sun shining on it, blue sky behind it. Very nice. Made it back. So uh, one hour and two minutes, 5.3 kilometers. I deviated from the map a couple times. I think if I do this, I can press pause, hold and stop, finish. Had some fun here. I thought we would uh, zip into town to a place called Wimpy's and uh, they have an eggs benny and i haven't had an eggs benny in a while and i think today is the day so let's zip into huntsville and grab an eggs benny at wimpy's Wimpy's Diner. Hi, how many people? 
Just me. Thanks. Oh, thank you. All right, between the buns. Home style breakfast is what we're looking for. Waffle Trilogy, that looks, sounds amazing. But we are here for the Benedict. Uh, yes, please, and a glass of water. That'd be great. Really? Okay. Really Thank you. Book. I'm gonna do your eggs Benedict, uh, the female Benedict. Yeah, sounds good. Thank you. You just keep black, eh? Yeah. Take your fingers. <laughs> okay. Enjoy, okay? I will. Look at that. Amazing. Check out this eggs. Benny, three eggs on pea meal bacon. There's the pea meal bacon underneath those eggs. I didn't know I was going to get three eggs. I didn't read it. Let's just uh, do a little test to see. Soft boiled. Yes. Nice, soft boiled, very good, oh, three perfect eggs, let's eat, I like a little bit of pepper on my eggs, I doubt I need salt. Toasted English muffin, perfect. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> Very good egg bunny. Let's try these little discs, potatoes. Nicely fried. Good flavor. A little bit of crunch. Looks like I get the clean plate award again, thanks to the awesome eggs, Benny. Yeah, you can. Well, guys, I love to end these videos off on a great note like that. That eggs benedict was perfect. The toasted English muffin, the female bacon, and three soft boiled eggs. And those potatoes were dynamite. So next time you see a, uh, a Wimpy's around here in Ontario, I think they're only in Ontario, uh, stop by, grab yourself an eggs Benny. Anyway guys, thanks for hanging out with me on this uh, camping trip. Really appreciate it. Love all the views. Love all the comments, all the likes. Special thanks to all my channel members for all your support. And of course, all my supporters over on Patreon. You guys rock. If you enjoy these videos and you want to show your support for me doing these videos just for you, hit it with a thumbs up, ding, 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 ding. But if you're still hungry for more, check out that amazing playlist up dumped down over there. And we'll see you over there. Bring your hunger.